Hello guys, it's Mick Toy here today. So today I'm going to be showing you how to use storage drawers along with refined storage and there's skeletons everywhere. God dang it, why are there so many skeletons? Go burn in the sunlight, please. Anyhow, so to get started, first off you're going to want to make the basic things for a storage system. That's the controller, that's the grid, and that's the storage system, in this case a disk drive. As well as some cables and some external storage as well as the drawers it's using. So, to show you what I'm going to do, first off, we're going to show off the compacting drawer. The compacting drawer is made as such. You use pistons, you use the drawer, you have any type of drawer, and then you have this thing, and there you go. That's how you do it. That's, a, that, that's it. That's done, Jim. So, once you have this compacting drawer, you're going to want to connect it to your external system by using an external storage and some cables. Once you have a connector, you'll be able to access it from your inventory. So, you're probably wondering, Akitori, what's the benefit of all this? I, I don't know. I'm a taco of some sort, of some caliber. So, right here, this thing is locked. Uh, currently, I have the system having this on a higher priority, a priority of 10 in this instance. So, what that means is that this system will put try to put items here first before they put it here because this thing has a priority of 1. So, this has higher priority than this one, well, that one, and this one has higher priority than both of them. I believe this one has a priority of 20 because I really want stuff to be stored here before anywhere else. So... The way this works is if I get all this redstone here and just shove it in here like a cactus, I could just actually convert this redstone almost ins instantaneously with with no issue. So yeah, uh, I'm going to put these all back in now. Do, 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 do. So yeah, right here, this is a storage drawer. This is uh, some redstone and this is that. That's basically how it works. It just stores things here. So you're probably wondering, Akitori, why do we want to use this? I'm in Chicago, yeah. So, you can use this to compact things quite easily in storage systems. Like, if I get another one right here, let me just show you really quickly. Um, let's say I want to make another one for, I don't know, uh, hay or something like that. I could just get an external storage, get this cable right here. Now, that's a cable here. Connect it there, and there you go. Now, we have another one. Yay. Don't forget to set priorities. If you don't set priorities, it's not going to work. So, I'm going to get that equal amount as the other one so that people look at it. Um... So yeah, uh, what I'm going to use in this example, I'm going to use something rather simple. I'm going to use, of course, diamonds, because why the fudge not? So you put it in this corner here, and now you can make diamond blocks. Glorious. So I'm going to get all the diamonds I have currently, which is going to be a lot in less than 15 seconds. Oh, look at me, I am diamond boy, diamond boy. Okay. Though this one doesn't have as massive as a storage, it's still able to contain 16 stacks, so it should be able to handle it relatively free without upgrades. I recommend putting it plopping in an upgrade just in case I got the high tier upgrade, because why the fudge not? Uh, yeah, okay, so let's get this done. Uh, I gotta throw in diamonds here. And gonna take out all the blocks of diamonds. Doop doop. There we go. And doop. And there's one left there. Hooray! But yeah, as you can see, this is still here. Now I recommend locking it because once you pull out the last diamond, it can become attuned to other things. I'm not sure if that's actually the case. Let me actually put the diamond back in the system. No, I think that will actually keep the item that you initially clicked it with, and I don't know how to clear that. But yeah, I would recommend locking it just in case, uh, cause why the fudge not? Um, but yeah, that's how it works. You can come back things easily. You can store them, um, make them tiny blocks, etc., etc. You can also use these as storage themselves, cause as you can see, this actually does have storage space. Like that has 133k, but this one only has like what 10k, and then this one has like 26k. But that's divided against four drawers, so take that into consideration. So yeah, that's how it works. Now if I want to activate what's this. This is where I store all my stones. Because you know when you're playing Minecraft, you usually find all the stones. You get andesite, diorite, granite, and um, stone. So yeah, that's why I have this here. It basically voids it out there. So you're probably wondering, Akitori, why would I use this? Let's say I have, for example, in the storage drive is metric tons of things. Like, I don't know, uh, pearlescent weapons, uh, sentient cat or something. And I don't want it to be mixed up with the rest of the riffraff. So basically, I can make the storage drive only a priority if all these other things aren't being used. Uh, so yeah, that's how it works, basically. So again, all you're going to need is an external storage, which is made in a very complicated manner, of course, because why the fudge not? And just cables and your generic refined storage to 
system. So yeah. Hmm. So yeah, again though, you can just put in the oxid dye and then you can just turn it into diamonds, but I really wouldn't recommend that. So you're probably wondering, Akitori, why would we use this? Who would use this? Well, a lot of people would use this, personally speaking. You can also use it as a long distance network to a degree to store things. Like, let me show you. Um, actually, now I'll show that. Yeah, let me show that. Let me show that. <laughs> so basically, we have right here. Um, I'm going to show a short distance because I don't want to go far. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Ah, network receiver, network transmitter, and the relay card should be right about here. No, yeah, here it is. So what you're gonna do? You're gonna want to get the network transmitter, hook it up to your system as such, like these, and then get a network receiver, put it over here, somewhere in the distance. I don't care. You're gonna have to right click this thing and then you go over here, put it in here. So yeah, this thing has a range of 16 blocks and what that lets you do, if you get um, a crafting grid and plop it on top like this, you can now access your inventory from all the way over here with no cables. Hooray! So you can use this, let's say you went mining, you're really far away, although to be fair, the limit to this is chunk loaded, so yeah. You find mine. If you're mining, you don't want to source stuff in. Over there's your storage system. It sorts everything for you, and boom, you're done. And hello, Mrs. Captain. Do you like our demonstration? No, it sucks. Well, I can burn the fire, sir. In fact, I, I recommend it. Here, you can have a fire, and you can go die now. Anyway, uh, one of the main drawbacks, of course, is that you have to have a lot of power. This is something that you have to need if you use, like, say, power. Mods and he's not dead yet, is he? Well, cheer those. Anyway, this is something you will need to use if you have power mods or stuff like RF and stuff. But with me and my friend TM, this is something we could set up easily on our custom space expedition map. Although I need to discuss with them the point of using a storage drawer because I want to use storage drawers, but nah. But I made this video mainly so that people can understand how this all works because I know that a lot of people, me myself included. Some of us get confused by how you people all make the mass uh, gibberish and storage and whatever. And this is something I wanted to explain to people who are kind of new to refined storage and storage drawers. Maybe some people who are newer to like FTB or something. And I wanted to do it in a simple way so that people didn't really get confused too easily. Because that seems to be something like, like some YouTubers, they're like, oh, it's easy to do this, and then they go like five years later without explaining a single dang thing, and you're left wondering, what the fudge did I just listen to? So yeah, this is why I uh, decided to uh, do this, and that tree is on fire. Poor tree. Uh, but yeah, that's the main reason why I have this here. Um, I recommend you guys give out the mo either mod a try, really, because they're both pretty decently good. I like them. Honestly, I do. Uh, yeah. Now, as you see right here in this stone instance, you need an upgrade because this thing needs more, so yeah. yeah. Don't take out the upgrades. <laughs> At least you want explosions. Anyway, uh, that should be it. That tree already burned, so that's going to be all the time I have for today. Hopefully you guys enjoy this video. Hopefully you guys use it to your advantage. Look at that fly in the distance. But yeah, mainly I recommend you all give this a try if you want. If you have refined storage, if you have storage drawers, go ahead and give this a try. It'll save you on storage space in your basic drives. But again, just be wary. Like, make sure you still keep space in your drive just in case. I know these things take a lot of effort. And honestly, the storage does take a little bit as much effort. But honestly, in my opinion, it just takes an iron. Uh, I don't know what destruction core is made of. A quartz. Wow. I would really recommend that you guys give it a try. Use this system to your advantage. And yeah, this is mainly for people who want to figure out how to do it without going through like a million flim flams. So yeah, that's it for today. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you didn't enjoy the video, I have to question why the fudge are you still watching. And I'm going to light that tree on fire too. Because why the fudge not burn all the trees? Burn them all! Burn! 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 Yeah, I like Bullseye, but I'm not sure if I'll keep it for my uh, our space expedition. But yeah, 
that's it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did enjoy the video, that's a question. Why the fudge are you still watching? And, uh, yeah, I'm actually gonna check how much storage this place. Oh, God, 26.6k. That's actually not bad. No be. Uh, it's actually more than the default compacting storage, and this one is a metric ton. I don't know how the fudge you would fill this up. I really don't. Anyway, that's it for today. Hope you guys enjoyed, and, uh, yes, redstone, 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 redstone.